Hello, here's a quick look at two new fast charging gallium nitrate or GAN products by Anchor and specifically the European models, the tiny pocketable 30 watt travel charger 511 Nano 3. And then we have also the punchier but still quite compact Anchor Prime 100 watt wall charger with a flip out Euro plug. This one's gonna be my new travel charger for my laptop and other tech gear. And a disclaimer, I purchased both of these with my own money. First, let's look at the Nano 3, which costed me 17 euros. The regular price is around 23 euros, but Anchor seems to constantly have discounts available. Especially with the discounted price, it's a bang for the buck. So, this is it, Anchor Nano 3, with 30 watts output from a single USB Type-C connector. I really like this form factor, I do have quite big hands myself, but hopefully you get some idea of the size. It's really small, pocketable even. This is probably the smallest 30 watt charger you can get with an Euro plug. Which actually is the reason why I wanted to make this video in the first place, since I haven't seen much content about these versions for European markets. My Plan is to keep this in my jacket pocket, so I will always have a backup charger with me in case I need some extra juice on the go. I'm actually liking this form factor with its tiny footprint so much that instead of one, I got two of these. I really don't know why. Maybe just in case I happen to lose one of them, as they are so small. Then the Anchor Prime 100 watt GAN wall charger. I paid 76 euros for this one as it was on sale and I think the regular price is somewhere close to 90 euros. Uh, this form factor is the main reason I bought it. For 100 watt charger the footprint is really really small, even when considering this is an Euro plug model. Of course, the US versions are somewhat smaller, as the whole plug flips into the charging brick. Still, I'm liking this flip-out functionality even for the larger Euro plug. It has two USB Type-C outputs and one USB Type-A. To be honest, I really don't need the Type-A connector myself, as I've been switching all my cables to USB Type-C. That being said, I think it might become useful if, for example, one of my friends has a Type A device or something like that. It's important to note that the 100 watt output is, of course, the shared total output for all the three ports. So none of the individual ports can provide the full 100 watts individually. But the topmost USB C port can provide 65 watts of power, which should be enough to keep my 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro running most of the time. Of course, if doing something resource intensive all the time, the laptop battery will slowly drain, but I think most things I do on my laptop aren't that resource intensive 100% of the time. Still, going back to the topic of small form factor, this charger is going into my tech pouch. I have the Alpaca Elements tech case, the x version of course, uh, in sort of a medium size. There's also Max and Mini versions, but this is the one in between. Inside uh, the tech pouch I have a lot of cables, adapters and things like that. But I also have my current charging solution, which is this Ukraine Nexo uh, 100 watts GAN charger. It has one more port than the Anchor, and maybe more importantly, either one of the USB Type C or C ports to C1 or C2 can actually provide the maximum 100 watts if needed. So by switching to the Anchor, I'm downgrading on performance, but it's a trade off for the smaller size. The Ukraine one is much larger, as you can see, and it needs a separate power cable, which of course can be a benefit, but I haven't had the need for the longer cable that much. So, this Ukraine, it's going away. Well, I'm not throwing it away, I have some other uses for it, but for travel I much prefer the smaller size of the Anchor Prime 100W GN charger. Now, when I put it in my travel pouch, you can see there's a quite a lot of room to be saved compared to the old U-Green setup. So, this anchor is going there. 
I also got the second one of these Anchor 100 watt chargers. So this one I could, for example, put into my travel sling bag for easier access to power while in transit. And the other one, of course, stays in my tech pouch, which then goes into my backpack. To give you some reference, here's some comparison footage of the Anchor Nano 3s next to the official Apple 20W charger and also the Anchor 100W chargers next to the Ugreen Nexode 100. I cannot yet speak about the long-term experiences of these products, both the Nano and this 100W version, since I just got them. But I've used Anchor products a lot during the last 10 years or so, and they never failed me. So if you're interested in learning more about the technical aspects of these products, the output performance and the quality of the output, I recommend checking out the All Things One Place channel, which dives deep into the technical qualities of different chargers and power banks. I'll leave a link to that channel and also links to the, these products in the description. Thank you for watching. I do hate myself for saying this, but please drop a like and subscribe if you found this useful, as I'm just starting out this channel.